Hi, in the last video we talked, we talked about uh, Boolean functions. In particular, um, we, we gave an algorithm to construct a formula for, a, for an arbitrary non-zero Boolean function in terms of min terms, which are basically products of literals, right? So, for example, so let me just recall the algorithm by, by means of an example. So, if you have a truth table uh, for a two-variable Boolean function, so x1, x2 are the variables and f is the function, and you have the possible um, combinations of zeros and ones. And let's say your truth table has 0, 1, 1, 0. So the way you write a, a, a formula for this function is you go to the row which has a one in it. So these, these two are the rows, the second and the third row are the rows which has a, a one in it. And then write a min term for each of them. So the min term corresponding to this row is x1 times x2 bar. So uh, I know this because there is a 1 in place of x1, so I put an x1 there, and 0 in place of x2, and I put a, a bar over x2 there. So I explained why this is the case in the last video. Please check it out if you don't know this. And a min term for this is uh, x1 bar times x2. So by the same logic, so if I have a 0 in, in place of x1, I put a bar over x1, and if I have a 1 in place of x2, I put just x2. So these, are, these two are the min terms. Now I can write the function f of x1, x2 as the sum of min terms. So this is x1 bar times x2. Oops. So x1 bar times x2 plus x1 times x2 bar. Okay, and this, this function perfectly um, represents this uh, truth table. So you can check uh, by substituting uh, any, of these, any of these numbers. For instance, if you put the values 1, 0 in place of x1, x2, then you'd get um, f of 1, 0 to be equal to 1 bar times 0 plus 1 times 0 bar. So that would be 0 times 0 plus 1 times 1, which is just 1, right? So that recovers the value 1 here. So that's correct. So you can similarly check for each of these um, rows. So you can just put these, plug these values inside f and you get the corresponding value for f and you, you should get 0, 1, 1, 0 respectively for four of these combinations. So this way you can write, this is the al algorithmic way to write a formula for every function. So this is done in detail in the last video, you should check it out. Um, I, I also gave the reasons why this is the case. So now we'll, uh, we'll introduce a notation uh, called Boolean circuits. So Boolean circuits is kind of um, a, a symbolic way of representing Boolean functions in terms of several uh, operations of our interest. So the operations we know so far is addition, multiplication and negation, which comes from or, and, and not uh, from propositional logic. So we can go further. So we have other, other operations in propositional logic. For example, you have XOR, you have uh, NOR, you have NAND, right? So you can, you can also um, write give symbols for these operations and call them with the, the names of the respective gates. Okay, so let's do that. Um, especially I'm interested in two, two operations called NOR and NAND other than the standard addition, multiplication and uh, negation. So I want uh, symbols for addition, multiplication. Um, so addition is OR, multiplication is uh, AND negation which we call bar is not um, which is also called inverter and you have nor and you have nand okay so let, let's give uh, the symbol of the gate for each of these things so r is represented by the following symbol so you have you have a thing like that and you have two inputs in here x and y and the output obviously should be x plus y so that is x or y right and then um, you have and, so and is a, a very similar thing except that you have a flat base instead of a curvy base here. So you have x, y and x times y. And you have inverter, so inverter is represented by a triangle and a circle here. So the input is x and the output is x bar as you'd expect. And nor is actually not or. So what I mean by this is uh, uh, x nor y is really not x or y okay so the symbol for this is actually x 
down arrow y so this is just when you write letters uh, and the and the gate symbol for this is you have the or gate the the notation for the or gate and you have a circle in front so this is x y so and this will be x nor y so x down arrow y and the nand gate is again as you would expect not of and so what i really mean here again is x nand y is so let me draw a line there so that there is no confusion so x x nand y is not of x and y which is um x which is denoted by x up arrow y so the notation for this is again you have a nand gate symbol and there is a circle in front of it so you have x y and x uh, nand y as the output okay x y is the input and x nand y as the output so these are the uh, main uh, gates we are interested in so gates are nothing but um, uh, symbolic representation of these simple boolean operations of addition multiplication ne negation um, nor and nand in this case so there are other boolean operations which we are not so interested in so for now we just want to get a grip of um, these these basic gates and how to express several uh, boolean functions or any arbitrary boolean function in terms of these gates okay so um, as we already learned so by by writing a boolean function as sum of min terms we are already ex uh, able to express a function uh, in terms of addition multiplication and negation right so for example here i'm not using any other operation other than addition multiplication and negation so what this means is that in principle you can express any boolean function in terms of these gates these three gates actually you will find out that um, and we discussed this in zoom class that uh, actually two of them them are enough so if you have or and not it is enough uh, so you can you can use just these two gates to uh, construct any boolean function of course you have to repeat some of these uh, gates multiple times and similarly if you have just and and not you can also construct any boolean function out of these two operations so we'll talk more about that when we get to functional completeness so but for now um, let's let's look at an example where we we write a function in terms of these gates so why not we take an example which we already saw before which is this example so you have the function f of x1 x2 x1 is equal to x1 bar times x2 plus x1 times x2 bar so let's write this in terms of um, uh, gates boolean gates so okay so let's rewrite this function f of x1 x2 is equal to x1 bar times x2 plus x1 times x2 bar so um, my two variables are x1 and x2 and in the end what i'm doing is the last operation is uh, i added these two terms right so i i would want these two as inputs so this is x1 bar times x2 and x1 times x2 bar uh, and put them into a um, nor uh, or gate right because i have a plus there so it would be that so this would be f of x1 x2 and then x1 bar times x2 i would have um, to, to this uh, to get this as a um, output so i have an and gate here in to which I need x1 bar as an input and x2 as an input. Then I, I would get x1 bar times x2 as an output for this. And for x1, x2 again, I need um, uh, x1 as an input and x2 as an input again. And I would get, uh, sorry, this is supposed to be x1 times x2 bar. Yeah, so x1 as an input and x2 bar as an uh, input again. So for x1 bar, I need the inverter converting x1 to x1 bar and th this is x2 and similarly uh, for x2 bar i need an inverter converting x2 to x2 bar and this is x1 okay so ultimately we have x1 x2 as inputs and um, so we, we can actually make the same uh, input here so it's the same wire which gives the input 
and this is same wire so this is x1 and this is x2 okay so the, uh, this represents a function which takes x1 x2 as inputs and f of x1 x2 as outputs